Hello, today we are going to be looking at division and we are going to be dividing decimals and expressing the remainders as decimals. The objective is you will learn how to solve division problems that contain decimals and express the remainders as a decimal. I was thinking of a way of of explaining this and then I went on YouTube and there is a child that made a YouTube video that just did a remarkable job so I'm going to have you listen to this child and then take notes while he's um, explaining it and you can jot down any questions that you have you can pause it if you need to um, you can do what you need to do so I'll be back in a couple minutes so sit back and relax All right, maybe, maybe not. Let's try this. Let's see if I can get this working. There we go. Hello, YouTube. This is Puffin Plucky seventy six, and I'm going to be showing you how to divide with decimals. So you'd use decimals if you were dividing money or measurements. So what I'm going to do is if you want to use decimals right beside the 552 you have to add a decimal 0 0 and up top here you have to ha add a decimal. So now we can start dividing. 5 can go into 5 one time and 5 times 1 equals 5, so then we subtract. 5 minus 5 equals 0, and you bring down the 5, which equals 5. So how many times can 5 go into 5? 1 time. 5 times 1 equals 5. Floppy 5. And that's 0, and that's 0. So then you bring down the 2. Now, how many times can 5 go into 2? Well, it can't go into 2, so you have to put a 0 there to show that it can't go into 2. And then you bring down this 0. 5 can go into 20 40 times, or not 40, 4 times. And 5 times 4 equals 20. And then you subtract. And this equals 0, 0, 0, and 0. So can 5 go into 0? No, it can't. So you bring down this 0. And 5 still can't go into 0. So you add a 0 here to show that it can't go into 0. So, yeah. So what this would mean is each person would get $110.40. So if we had $552 and we wanted to divide it in five people, each person would get $110.40. So that's how you divide with money. Now, you can also do this for measuring lengths so maybe if I had 360 meters of road and I wanted to divide that 360 meters of road into five different streets uh, how many how much how many meters would each street get so as you can see we have to add decimal zero zero onto the end because this would mean 360 meters and zero centimeters so then you add your decimal to the top and five can go into 36 seven times five times seven equals 35 and then you subtract six minus five equals one 
3 minus 3 equals 0. Bring down the 0. 5 can go into 10 twice. 5 times 2 equals 10. And then you bring down, and then you subtract. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 1 minus 1 equals 0. And 0 minus 0 equals 0. And 5 can't go into 0, so you have to bring down the 0. 5 still can't go to, into 0, so you have to put a 0 right there to show that. So now uh, we have to bring down this 0, and 5 still can't go into 0, so we have to put another 0 up here to so show that. So really what this is saying is each road would have 72 meters and 0 centimeters of, yeah, that's the length of each road. So, how, would you, how you would read this is 72.00 meters. So that means uh, 72 meters and 0 centimeters. So, I hope you liked this video, and I hope it helped you. And please watch all of my other videos. And, yeah. Bye. Ah, oh, there we go. Bye. Okay. Oh, it's still recording. Ah. Okay, let me. Okay, bye. Didn't he do an amazing job? Now, if I can get back to where I need to be, we will be in business. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the next slide. It's quiz time. So we went right from that into a quiz. So I want you to write these problems down. Remember to put the decimal point after the whole number. So this one you would put 607.00 divided by 5. This one you would put 246 decimal point zero zero divided by 4. This one, I'm sure you're getting it, is 306 decimal point zero zero divided by 5. And um, there's a link to the quiz but do it on a piece of paper. I will be checking to see that you um, wrote down your work. And then when you're done with that, write down any questions that you have, and we will talk about them tomorrow in class. Thanks for listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.